Let's take a look at some of the setup differences between a web document and a print document. Browse to the Chapter 3 folder in the Project Files folder and open the document called Chapter 3 Web Coupon. If you get a dialog box asking you to update modified links, go ahead and click Update. There are several things to note here. First of all, if the links panel is open, you can click its icon over on the right and it will disappear. This document is set up to be 600 pixels tall and 800 pixels wide. This is a common web page size. The ruler units for all web documents will be pixels, and that's important because when you're designing a web page, you're always counting in pixels. You can see up in the control bar that in fact the units there are also pixels. The X and Y coordinates are listed as pixels right there. As I move my cursor around, you can see that they're changing. Our color palette is also set up as RGB. This is important for the web as well because web colors are all RGB colors. We can confirm some of this information by looking at how the document is set up. Under the File menu, choose Document Setup. You'll notice that its intent is set to web and that you cannot change the intent once you have a document created. Notice its page size is set to pixels and that the units are listed as pixels. You'll also notice that several of our options have disappeared. In a web document, you don't see columns. However, we do have our bleed and our slug available. Also, facing pages are not enabled in a web document. You can, however, turn them on, but by default, web pages typically exist as standalone pages. Click Cancel to dismiss this menu. You can close this document without saving.